So that was pretty significant. He'd not given a statement like that uh, to anybody since his trial. Putman says Davis never admitted to the murders, but his team was convinced by the evidence that he had committed the crimes. And the only reason he could have done it would have been that he enjoyed it, which is really hard for people to fathom and kind of wrap their minds around. But in that interview with that production crew, he that's that's what he admitted to. He admitted to doing it because he, he enjoyed it, which is pretty scary. I asked the hospital's media team about if any steps have been taken since the case to ensure patients feel secure. In a statement, they said, quote, Krista's Health acted quickly, immediately, involved local law enforcement, and assisted in ensuring that justice was delivered for the families of these patients. Putman says his office and the police department also took several lessons from this case. Building a relationship with the hospital was one of them. To have a lot of help from doctors and nurses explaining to us what we were seeing in these records and what normally goes on in the hospital. So we gained a lot of information from that. I don't know how helpful that is to any other case because this is a pretty unique uh, set of circumstances. In Tyler, Jose Alonso, CBS 19. Jose, thanks for that report. Davis is still on death row after being convicted and sentenced. Davis has since appealed his sentence, a process the DA tells us is lengthy and could be denied.